What's going on? Thanks for clicking on this video. Without wasting any of your time, we're gonna show you how to do one of the most underrated core exercises, the ab wheel. Okay, so you gotta get nice and comfortable on the ground. We've got this block right here. Okay, position yourself, your chest is forward, shoulders are up. And then how you're gonna start is, you're just gonna basically roll all the way out. Okay, and then your goal is to actually get all the way down to the ground without touching the ground and then engage the core, squeeze the core, roll back just to about here, okay? So we'll talk about this later, but one of the common mistakes is a lot of people just go all the way back here, taking the tension off the abs, okay? So once again, all the way down, control, stabilize, and then use your core strength to bring yourself all the way back up. Now, I know a lot of you guys may be beginners when doing this exercise, so what you can do is you can start just easing into it, right? So if you don't feel comfortable and you think you're gonna face plant at the end of it, you can just go down a couple inches, engage the core, and then bring yourself back up, and then try to get one inch further each time to get the most out of this movement. I'm gonna jump into three common mistakes. We find that by knowing the mistakes, it helps you really know what not to do so you can know what to do. That's how I like to learn. Hopefully this helps everyone out there. So one of the big common mistakes is stretching all the way out and then using your butt to bring you back. This is not what you want to do. Here I'm using my legs essentially to sit right back, I'm using my hamstrings to pull me back, and that's not the objective of this exercise. So once again, you can see me doing it. I'm extended, and then I'm using my butt with my arms still straight to pull me back. And a lot of people do this maybe not as obvious as that, but they'll do it in subtle ways where, you know, you're here, you pull a bit, and then you pull it back. That's not what we want to do. As Kyle said, we want to engage that core and actually roll into that core. Roll against the wheel, really pushing that wheel into the ground, pulling into the core, arching the spine while squeezing those abs to bring myself up. So you can see the difference here. I'm stretching out. Core, core, core. And I'm not talking while I'm doing that because I'm using that core. I'm squeezing nice and tight, breathing at the end, getting that contraction, and that is a big mistake to avoid. Common mistake number two is improper range of motion. There's two ways to do this improperly. I'll start with the first one. Like I said in the introduction, guys, um, if you are a beginner, that's okay if you're just easing into it, but there's a difference between being a beginner and someone who's just cheating yourself from gains. So this is a stretching exercise. You're supposed to go all the way down, okay? Especially if you got a strong core, you wanna go all the way down right to the ground. I notice as it gets harder, a lot of people will start to go right to here and they're just not getting as much out of the exercise. And number two mistake with range of motion is some people are actually going all the way down, but then on the way back up, they're just resting right here, taking all of the tension off the core, and that's two mistakes that you want to avoid. Okay, mistake number three is mind-muscle connection. And as obvious as this may sound for an ab exercise, a lot of people skip this. So, I can do this all day. It just does not count. You're gonna get some engagement, but when you really focus and think about the movement you're doing and engaging the appropriate muscles, you're gonna get 10 times out of it. I'd rather do five quality reps where I'm really extending, squeezing against my abs and coming up, flexing the abs, bracing against them and really working them. That's how you're gonna get nice shredded, chiseled abs is by really engaging them and knowing what you're working. You're just gonna get a lot more bang for your buck by doing this appropriately. So just try to limit yourself by going through the motions, trying to do 15, 20 reps. Just focus on five, six, seven, eight, Really, really premium rep. So I'm gonna extend myself nice and far. Squeeze right into the abs and not cheat myself. And that's the number one secret. You know, by just going through it, cheating yourself, going through the motion, this exercise will not be too great. Maybe you tried it before, that's why you haven't liked it. But if you really, really take the time to stretch those abs, squeeze those abs each rep, you will be dying. Give it a shot, you'll thank me later. And that's all we have for you today. If you want more content, make sure to go through our playlist. We have 40 plus exercises that you can watch and implement into your routine. On top of that, first link in the description, free form guide. It's a personal trainer in your pocket to help you fix your form on all the exercises. Peace out.